Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Horizons. Alright, so in this episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a Mac. I was talking about it in the last episode and now I want to do it. Um, I've already pre-made everything that I need here. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the recipes for this stuff. Because, I mean, it's pretty expensive. Some of it is. Um, it's not too hard to get the stuff to make them. It's just it takes a lot of it. Um, so first, the first thing you're going to need is, uh, well, there's there's three basic components, I guess, and it's the ME assembler containment wall, uh, the ME heat vent, and the, well, I guess those are the two basic ones that you need, and then you also need uh, ME crafting CPUs and an ME pattern provider. Um, you need at least one of these, one of each of these things in order for it to work. But um, first, I'll, I'll kind of go into that. Um, you can make this pretty much any size that you want. Um, there are certain limitations. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but uh, I mean it's 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 pretty lenient on uh, what you can build. But anyway, um, first off, the ME assembler containment wall. This one's probably the easiest out of all of them to build. And what it is is just certus quartz, some gold ingots, and iron ingots, and that'll make your containment wall. And you're going to need quite a few of those, depending on you know how big you want it. Um, the ME heat vents. Those are also pretty easy to make. Um, all they are is some iron ingots, some iron bars, and some of the ME cable. The ME cable is a little bit harder to make. Uh, it's just glass and this fluix dust, and the fluix dust is pretty easy to make. It's just redstone, certus quartz dust, and nether quartz dust. So, I mean, that's not too hard. <clears throat> so those are the, those are the base, basic components of it. And um, also you're going to need the crafting CPU and the pattern provider. And these are a little bit tougher to make, but the, not impossible by any means. The crafting CPU is... Um, iron, certus quartz, glowstone, and these ME advanced processors. Um, these things are uh, they're fairly easy to make. All it takes is some silicone, which as we all know is um, like a nether quartz dust or certus quartz dust uh, smelted in a furnace. That'll give you silicone. There's also another type of silicone. Uh, I don't know if it will work with this, but uh, you put, if you, I believe it's you put sand in a sag mill I believe it'll give you silicone. Um, I was messing around with that last night, but I don't. I don't know if it actually works with the advanced or the applied energistics uh, recipes or not. I haven't tried it yet. But uh, yeah, that that might be a possibility. That's pretty. That's a that's a lot easier than you know having to use up your certus quartz dust or your uh, you know nether quartz dust. But like I said, I'm not sure if that works or not. So you know, just a just a heads up. But anyway, yeah, these are just a diamond. Uh, some redstone and some silicone. I think we've made a couple of these before in the past, so I'm not going to get too too far into that. But anyway, that's the that's the crafting uh, CPU. <clears throat> you're going to need a f well. I mean, I guess you only need one if you're going to have a small Mac. But uh, I'm I'm going kind of big, so I made up quite a few of those. Also, the ME pattern providers. You're going to need at least one of these. Um, they're fairly easy to make as well. Just some iron crafting table, uh, another advanced processor. Uh, some of these conversion matrices and some storage cells. And if you guys have watched my previous episode on uh, when we made you know the disks and the disk drives and all this other stuff, you'll you'll know how to make the conversion matrices and the storage cells. I mean, they're not too hard. Just a bunch of you, you're going to need a bunch of these if you're going to get into <laughs> applied energistics, like a bunch of these and a bunch of the uh, <clears throat> the advanced processors with the diamonds. Because uh, I mean, yeah, you just need a bunch of them. So anyway, the Mac that I'm going to build is uh, 40 containment walls, 42 heat vents, 9 ME pattern providers, and 9 uh, crafting CPUs. Now, I don't know if you need this many crafting CPUs. I don't know if it like speeds up the process or not, but uh, I just went ahead and made the same amount of uh, pattern providers as I had. You know, I just made the same amount of each of these things. But uh, the pattern providers give you, uh, they let you store these encoded patterns, which I'll get in, I'll get more into this uh, later. The pattern providers, uh, the, the more pattern providers you have, the more patterns you can have stored in your Mac, so the more recipes you can auto-craft. And I'll kind of get into that a little bit more as we go on. But first, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start. I cleared out a little space here. Um, this is, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm obviously going to make this look a little bit better once I'm done. This is just the basic uh, space where I'm going to have my Mac. It's going to be right up here. It's going to be a 5x5 five well, it's going to be, well, let's see, what is it? Okay, I think it's going to be a 5 by some odd. I know it's going to be 5 on the bottom here. 5. Whoops. 
Did not mean to do that. Luckily, you can just break this stuff with a regular pickaxe or whatever. And it doesn't get destroyed. So anyway, the containment wall is going to be like that, right? So this is the bottom of it. Your containment wall, it's also going to have to go on up on, the, on either corner. And I'll kind of show you as I'm building this. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to put the heat vents down on the bottom. Right? Just like that. And then I'm going to... Let's see. Let's put our, our uh, crafting CPUs here. We're going to have nine of those. And then the pattern providers, we're going to have nine of those as well. We'll just put them right on top here. Boom. And then there's that. That's the inside of our Mac. So now we have to pretty much cover this with the containment wall like this. It's fairly easy to do. I'm kind of kind of going about this a weird way. But yeah. Okay, so we'll get our containment walls going. Let's get up here. It might be easier. So yeah, the edge of this, this whole thing, is going to be your containment walls. The entire edge. So boom, just like that. There's your containment walls. Now, um, oh man, did I? Okay, I thought I was stuck in there for a second. So let's get some more of our heat vents here, because we have to put heat vents on the top too, just like we did on the bottom. Okay, and then also we have to put heat vents here. So pretty much the only thing that's exposed are the heat vents and the containment walls. You don't want to, it won't work if you can see any of this stuff in the center here. Now, as far as the CPUs and the pattern providers, you might be able to get away with, you know, you could do 17 pattern providers and one CPU, I think. I think that'll work. It just depends on on how many, or I don't know how you want to do it pretty much. Um, I just did nine and nine, so that way I'll have nine pages of different patterns I can I can craft, and I'll show you what I mean by that as soon as I get this done. So we'll just have to fill in the rest of this with our heat vents. Boom, and see once it's done it turns into like a multi-block actual structure thing. So if you right click on this, it'll go into here. And here's the pages I was talking about. I have nine pages. So that's going to be quite a bit. And I know in the last episode I was talking about making two max. And uh, someone brought up a good point. That's a that's a waste of uh, that's a total waste of, of supplies. Because so I mean nine pages. This is <laughs> I mean I think this will this will last me quite a while. Nine pages. So anyway, I've got one pattern here that I've already crafted. And what it does, I put it in there. Now what this does is once and this is already hooked up to my my ME system, so it's like ready to go. It's good to go. Now what this does is it allows me to craft a blank pattern. So I'll show you what I mean by that. That's like the first the first pattern you're going to want to make is a pattern for making more blank patterns because you're going to need a lot of blank patterns. You're going to need a blank pattern for every recipe you want to have stored in your Mac for auto crafting. So let's go to our craftable craftable items. Okay, so yeah, see? This is the one pattern that we have in our in our Mac. It's a pattern for a blank pattern. <laughs> so if we click on that, um, we can we can set here however many we want to make. I don't want to make too many of them, so I'll just uh, I'll just do one. So hopefully we have all the stuff that we need in order to make that. We might not. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a uh, crafting monitor. Let's see, where are those? Crafting monitor right here. Um, I wonder if I have the stuff to make this. No, I do not. I'm missing one piece of glass. So let me go grab some glass. I've got some glass going. And what the crafting monitor does, it shows you um, when you're auto crafting something, if you are out of a certain item, um, it'll, it'll show you what item you don't have. So, okay, let's craft that up. Got it? And we'll just set it right here. So, okay, did that just like, uh, okay, let's, let's do this again. Hmm, that's odd. Is it not, uh, is my, my Mac mine? Oh, no, it is set up because there's the patterns in there. Oh, I know what it is. I'm, <laughs> okay, I think I just made a couple of those without even realizing it. I'm so stupid. All right, the reason it's not showing up <laughs> is because I'm only in my craftable, uh, view. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. Blank patterns. Yeah, we have two of them. So it did work. I was just derping out. So, yeah, because if you if you click here, this will show the stored items 
this will show the items that are craftable, but it won't show, like after you craft them, it won't show how many you have. So that's why I was kind of concerned, I guess. But anyway, once you have your blank patterns, you can, what this is, this is a pattern encoder. And this allows you to insert recipes into blank patterns. So, hmm, what, what should we make? I know we're going to need lots of the this Emmy cable here. So what we can do is we can make a, a pattern for this, right? So what that does is that puts this recipe into the pattern encoder. Just put your blank pattern in here. We'll go ahead and put both of them in there. And you hit encode, boom. And then right here, we've got an Emmy encoded pattern and it crafts three Emmy cables with six glass and three Fluix dust. So there you go. So now we can clear that out. Now we have a pattern to auto craft Emmy cables, which is pretty cool. Boom, so there we go. Yeah, so now we can auto craft Emmy cable which is handy dandy, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so, And um, the cool thing is with this, um, since there's different types of, uh, there's all kinds of different types, for, well, for instance, wood. I mean, look, there's all different types of wood. So if you set a pattern up, if you use, say you're setting a pattern to auto-craft like sticks, I guess, and say you're using palm wood planks, now, if you go to AutoCraft that, it'll only use the palm wood planks since that's what's actually in the pattern. So it's kind of weird like that. So you might have a ton of uh, redwood planks. You might have, you know, millions of them or whatever. And you try to AutoCraft sticks. Well, it won't work because it's looking for palm wood slabs instead of redwood plank slabs. So that can get kind of tricky. And you just want to keep an eye on that kind of stuff. Um, so usually what I do is, if I'm using, uh, if I'm making a pattern that requires some sort of a wood, I'll, uh, whatever wood I have, whatever is most abundant, that's what I'll use in the, uh, in the crafting recipe. Just so, you know, I don't, I don't run out and, you know, I'm waiting on something to craft and it's not crafting and, and whatnot like that. So, um, all right, now let's find something else to auto craft. What else do we use a lot of? Um, we could do, I, oh, uh, let's go ahead and eat this baked ham. Mm. This Mac is going to come in very handy for crafting all kinds of different foods and stuff too. Because what we can do is we can, since these recipes for this food are, they're kind of, I mean they're not like uh, hard or like super intricate or anything, but they, they just take time because you need certain, you know, like, um, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Whoops. <clears throat> you know, for instance, the, uh, let's just do, um, well, for instance, the baked ham, like the stuff that I'm eating right now. It's not very hard. It's just a raw pork chop, some sugar, an apple, and some bakeware. But, I mean, you know, if you can auto-craft this stuff, you don't have to worry about finding your bakeware and your all this kind of stuff. So you just, you just auto-craft baked ham. It'll automatically craft all that stuff, which is awesome. Now, another thing is uh, certain recipes require... They're, they're like sub-recipes, I call them. And, uh, well, we'll just go back to advanced energistics for now to, so I can show you. So, or applied energistics. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so for instance, um, okay, so if we wanted to auto craft these conversion matrices, well, actually, that would that would actually require some automation because we'd have to smelt these. Let's go with something a little bit easier for now, just so I can kind of explain what I'm talking about here. Um, what about the disks? What do we have here? Storage disks. Okay, so if you want to make a storage disk, you're gonna have to make a recipe for each stage of this process, right? So you're going to have to make a recipe for this, right? And then you're going to have to make a recipe for this. And then you're going to have to make a recipe for one of these and a recipe for this. So it's going to take quite a few different recipes just to make one disk, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, it's not bad. It's not, it's not hard to do. It's, it's just it takes a lot of uh, blank uh, patterns, you know. So it's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something to kind of look out for. So you can't just... Uh, you know, make a pattern of this and have it auto craft all this stuff. It won't because it won't recognize the storage segments because it doesn't know how to craft it. So you have to set up a recipe for that and and so on and so forth. And the same thing goes for any other uh, recipe that might uh, require other uh, sub recipes, I guess, if you will. But anyway, um, so yeah, so we have these two things in here right now, which is you know pretty basic, off to a good start, I guess. But now I guess I, what I want to do is let's auto craft some more uh, blank patterns. Blank patterns. So let's craft, uh, let's see if we can make 10 of them. I don't know if we have enough stuff to make 10. But uh, yeah, we're out of glowstone. 
So, okay. No big deal. Blank patterns. <clears throat> okay, so we got two more patterns. Let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, do some of this food stuff like I was talking about. Let's just make a couple patterns for that. So we'll go to our pattern encoder here. We'll go ahead and throw those in there. Let's go to this. And, well, the baked ham, for instance. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll craft that up. Now, if say say the recipe is in here and it's like this, but you don't want the raw pork chop, you want the tofu. Well, that's pretty simple. All you got to do is grab some tofu out of your inventory if you have any. I don't have any right now, so I can't really show you. And you just clear that out, put your tofu in there. It'll This will stay the same. And then you just encode it like that, and it'll automatically use the tofu instead of the the pork chop. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty, pretty straightforward. But I'm not a big fan of tofu, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and use it like this. So we'll encode that, and now we can auto-craft this baked ham, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you that because I think we're out of apples right now, but you get the point. All right, let's see what else we can do. Let's do a multiple, uh, a multi-recipe uh, recipe, recipe. <laughs> a multi-step recipe, if you will. All right, so here's a perfect example. I think, I don't know if we might not have enough blank uh, patterns in order to do this, but um, all right, so the f fish and chips. Okay, so we're going to need... Uh, fish sticks and fries, right? Which is cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll craft this recipe first. Boom. Encode. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. i tell you what I'll do. I'll just empty this out. So all you got to do is hold down shift and right click and it'll turn a pattern that you have that's encoded into a blank pattern. You won't lose anything, so don't worry about that. Whoops, what the heck am I doing? So we'll grab this. Where was I? Oh yeah, so we'll make a pattern for this which uses the fish sticks and the fries. So we'll encode the, did I already do that? Yeah, I already did that. So we have that. But now <clears throat> we need to make a pattern to make the fish sticks. So let's go in here. So this is what we're going to need for our fish sticks. Boom. So there we go. Now, uh, here's another example. Since there's different types of flour, um, whatever kind of flour is most abundant or like easiest to make, I guess, would be the, the ideal choice. So let's see let's check this flour here this requires mortar and pestle and wheat so let's go ahead and we'll craft a recipe for that in code so now we can make wheat or I mean I'm sorry we can make flour okay now let's check out the recipe again so we have an auto recipe for that now we're going to need this we can go ahead and oh, we'll see here we go prime example see we don't want this kind of flour because it's the different kind of flour and this auto crafting recipe right here will not make this type of flour it'll only make this type of flour so we need to get rid of that let's see if we have any of that flour I guess we don't so let's go ahead and make some real quick I could just throw this thing in the Mac real quick and, and auto craft it but that's way over there I don't want to mess with it <laughs> So what we'll do is, go ahead and do that, make one flour, all right? So now we'll just replace that old flour with this. See, and it doesn't actually use it. It just uses the uh, the image of it, I guess. So now it'll use this type of flour, the bakeware, and a raw fish filet, which I have a bunch of those, so that's, that's fine. So we'll encode that, boom. And now we have fish sticks. So now we can auto-craft fish sticks. And it looks like I ran out of blank patterns, which is unfortunate. I'm going to, let me check and see if I have any more glowstone somewhere real quick. But I'll go ahead and toss these in there now. Da da da. I should have been a little bit more prepared. I thought I was prepared, but I guess you're never fully prepared <laughs> when it comes to playing Minecraft. So let's check glowstone. Okay, so yeah, I have some of these, which I can convert into glowstone dust. Do I have to, uh, I think I might have to pulverize it. So let's go ahead and pulverize this just to get us some glowstone so we can make some more blank patterns for that ought to, ought to be enough because I'm pretty sure I only need one more blank pattern but we might as well grab that too what what the hell so let's toss this back in our thing here go back to our uh, let's go ahead and craft some more blank patterns oh we have some oh because I put the okay okay there's another that's another thing um, the storage monitor was waiting on glowstone so it's 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 waiting to craft six more of these things, right? So if I keep throwing glowstone in there, it's going to craft as many as it possibly can until it is done crafting the uh, the ten that I specified. So let's toss in some more glowstone. This should be able to create the last of the uh, blank patterns. 
three. Okay, so I guess not. We need more, a little more glowstone. But that's no big deal. All right, so let's put these in there. Okay, so I already have the recipe for this, so let's clear that out. Now we need the recipe for the fries, which is easy. It's just a potato, some salt, and some bakeware. And I want to use this type of salt because I have a bunch of this in my inventory. And the other type of salt is actually in a barrel over here, which eventually I'll change. I'll put it... I didn't, I didn't want to have too much stuff in my storage early on because I was running out of disk space and stuff like that. But eventually I'll put this back in my storage and we can use that kind of salt. But it doesn't really matter now because I have lots and lots of each type. Or what I can do is I can put a, uh, a storage bus, attach a storage bus to this, and what that'll do is it'll tell the ME system that this is a part of the, uh, the, a part of the actual ME system. You connect a storage bus to it. So it'll recognize all this, even though this is in a barrel, which has nothing to do with applied energistics. If you put a storage bus on it, it'll recognize it as a part of the applied energistics system, and it'll, it'll show you the contents of it within your uh, terminal here. Which is pretty cool. I'll I'll get into that a little bit later. That's kind of that's that's not really necessary right now. But anyway, here's the uh, pattern for the fries. So let's encode that. Boom. And now we have a pattern for our French fries. <clears throat> so let's toss that in the Mac. Boom. Okay. So now we have a recipe to make uh, fish sticks, flour, fries, and all together to make this the uh, fish and chips. So let's see how this works. So let's go back over here. Let's go into our craftable items. And let's see if we can craft one of these. Begin. So let's check. Fish. Fish and chips. Yep, see it crafted it right up. No problem. So yeah, that's how you do auto crafting. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know how to do all this stuff. But, I mean, there are probably some people that, that are unfamiliar with it. And that's fine. That's cool. That's... Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm by no means am I an expert on this kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I know how to do some basic things and whatnot. So, yeah, there you go. That's cool. We got our Mac built. Um, we just need to kind of clean this up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. I have I have a few ideas. So, uh, hopefully by the next episode I'll have this kind of, almost not done, but, you know, closer to being done. Now, what's going on over here? My tank controller light is, like not showing up. I wonder why that is. That's weird. It's still working, but uh, we're actually using lava and it's not pumping lava in. I wonder, we might need to run to the nether and move our pump again, but I'll go ahead and do that off camera. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode, you guys. I just wanted to I just wanted to kind of show you, uh, for, for any of you that don't know exactly how to use the Applied Energistics Mac or anything like that, I just wanted to show you kind of the basics on how to get started. Um, it does not have to be this big. It can be a 3x3 three three little cube with one uh, crafting CPU and one pattern provider in there. Um, it just kind of depends on how much auto crafting you're planning on doing. I wanted to make it kind of big to kind of future proof myself, you know, so I wouldn't have to expand it later on. And I mean, who knows? I might still have to expand it, but this ought to do me for, for quite a while. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, there's pro I mean, like I said, there's there's people out there with videos that know way more about this kind of stuff than I do, and um, there's also all kinds of like uh, automation and stuff that you can do with this, which I'm planning on getting into later. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys the basics of it and kind of show you uh, how to how to set it up and everything. So anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Cruz playing Feed the Beast Horizons. Please stay tuned for the next episode. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.